What's up everyone? I'm Landon with LMR.com. In this video, I'm gonna be explaining the removal and installation steps for turn signals on 1979 to 1986 for ride Mustangs. As far as part selection goes for this video, I'll be working with our 50 Resto Premium Turn Signal Kit designed for those 79 to 86 Fox Mustangs. This kit is very simple and includes everything you need to install new turn signals into your four ride Fox body. Now the kit components include two new turn signals that are currently manufactured from Ford tooling, two new bulbs, four nuts, and four studs. Now a very nice black 85 GT is gonna be our car choice for this video, so let's get rolling. To get started, go ahead and disconnect the negative battery cable. If you already have the front bumper off of the car, this removal and install is going to be a breeze. The bumper is on the car, you'll have to support it with jack stands or a lift. Now for this video, I'll be starting on the driver's side, but the order doesn't matter. Go ahead and rotate the bulb socket counterclockwise and remove it from the light housing. Loosen and remove the three 9 16 bolts, securing the turn signal bracket to the front bumper. Rotate the bracket and then pass it through the opening between the core support and front bumper. Depending on your car, you may have to remove the secondary charcoal canister to gain access to the passenger side bracket and turn signal. To do this, carefully dislodge the push pin, securing the radiator's side air deflector to the core support. Loosen and remove the two half inch bolts, securing the charcoal canister bracket to the core support. Now at the top of the canister is the EVAP connection. Carefully dislodge this connection and then remove the canister from the car. Now you have the working room to remove the passenger side turn signal assembly. With both of the assemblies out of the car, place the light housings and brackets on a workbench. Remove the 7 16 nuts from the brackets and then remove the old light housings. Use two quarter inch coarse thread nuts as jam nuts to install one of the studs into the new light housings. Just to make it clear, the coarser side of the stud will install into the light housing. Carefully tighten the stud until the washer bottoms out on the housing. Go ahead and do this for the other three studs. If you'd like, prep and paint the bracket and the bolts at this time. Of course, if you did take this route, be sure and allow adequate drying time for the paint. Once dry, position one of the new turn signals into the bracket. You don't have to worry about getting these wrong or in the correct orientation as they will install one way onto the brackets. Install two new nuts and then fully tighten. Now these don't have to be crazy tight. Fair warning, if you over tighten these nuts, you will run the risk of damaging the light housings. Go ahead and reinstall each bracket in reverse order that you remove them. Reinstall and fully tighten the three 9 16 retaining bolts. Now, upon further inspection of the bulb sockets on this car, I noticed that the old bulb grease needed to be flushed out of the socket. This was easy to do. Electric parts cleaner and compressed air did the trick. Whenever the sockets are clean, verify that there is a gasket on each bulb socket. This gasket prevents dust and moisture from getting into the light housing. Reinstall the bulb sockets and rotate clockwise to lock them into place. Now you can reinstall the charcoal canister in the reverse order of the removal steps. Reconnect the negative battery cable. Go ahead and check over your work. Check for bulb operation in all sequences, and then you're good to go. All right guys, despite having to get up underneath the car, this one is pretty straightforward to get done. As mentioned previously, this is something that can be done a little bit easier 
if the front bumper is already off of the car. So just keep that in mind if you plan on replacing, upgrading, or installing other components that may require front bumper removal. To see more videos like this one, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like and share this with your friends. And don't forget to turn on notifications. That way you're notified every time we release new content. Check out our other videos and you know what to do by now for all things 1979 and present Mustang and SVT Lightning. Keep it right here with the real enthusiasts, LMR.com.